Um, it's a great pleasure to be here. My name is Diana Holbert. I'm one of the consultants from um, the Southampton Hospital. And I'm here to talk about celebrating excellence in emergency medicine. It's 50 years. This is our logo. Um, you're going to see it everywhere. Um, all our care uh, missives coming to you, the EMJ supplement and the EMJ itself. Um, it's a great logo. It's very reproducible. I see it everywhere, at least until the 31st of December. So, what are we celebrating? Well, as Sarge mentioned, it was the start of it all, October the 12th, 1967. As I look around this audience, I can tell from your bright eyes and bushy tailed appearance that almost none of you were born then. Um, but for me, it seems relatively recent. Um, and it's a thing called the Casualty Sur Surgeons Association, and they had their first meeting on October the 12th. And before then, um, casualties were run by sometimes orthopedic surgeons, sometimes general surgeons, and sometimes no one, with a variable amount of input and involvement. And we've come a long way to have gone in 50 years from perhaps 100 members to 6,500 members worldwide. It's a pretty incredible journey. And uh, I think it's worth celebrating. So, we've got some themes inspiration, celebration, and innovation. I want you to be inspired. We're going to launch an RPM webpage this month, and um, I want you to put on that webpage three words, preferably inspirational, that mean the most sense to you. I might say, uh, I'll be betting them. I might say, probably the best, because uh, that's what I think about emergency medicine. And I want you to put a little story about what inspired you to go into emergency medicine. Um, I'm going to put up my mentors uh, and, and I'm going to share with you why I went into emergency medicine in those years ago. Um, I want you to do the same. We're going to have some patient journeys. We're going to try and make people realise how great a specialty it is. Um, and that's going to be the inspirational part of our theme. Then we're going to celebrate. Every time this year you have a regional meeting, we're going to send you banners and bunting and balloons. And they're all going to have the logo on them, okay? It's a theme. And every time you have a regional meeting, if you could send us a photo of your regional meeting, we'll put it up on the web page. Do you see this kind of synergistic thing I'm going to go here? And then we're going to go and try and attempt a world record. I have been given my own world record agent, which is pretty exciting, actually. Um, as yet, I haven't quite come up with the idea of the world record. Um, I've had quite a few suggestions, and I'm simply not having the longest queue outside an ED. <laughs> and inspirational and celebrational. Um, so if you've got a good idea, worthy, please send it to me. I'll put up my um, email later on. Um, it needs to be fairly simple, fairly reproducible, and not something that some tabloid will say, well, why are they doing that when they could be saving lives? Okay, so it's going to be quite short-lived. Um, we've got some ideas, and it would be great to get that done in the summer. Um, I'm quite excited about that. And there's also going to be a book, 50 at 50, some of you will have this copy in your um, library, no doubt. This is the History of Accident Emergency Medicine from 1948 to 2004. And this is going to be a sort of companion volume, which brings us up to date. The thrills, the spills, the drips, the slips. And that's very exciting. That will be coming out sometime this summer. Um, then we're going to be innovative. We're going to have a clinical day, uh, probably in late November in London. We're going to have the best of emergency medicine. Um, how do we all get to be the best? And we thought as part of that, we'd look at the best papers of 2017 and maybe get an ex-president to talk about the best papers of 1967. Quite a short time, <coughs> um, but quite exciting. And if you like, we want to leave a legacy. And we're very proud in the college that we've been so involved with the wellness of our members, and it's absolutely crucial to our well, all our well-being. And really, if we leave any legacy, apart from the world record, and the banners, balloons, and the victim, <coughs> and the Arkham inspirational webpage, maybe it could be that we have a wellness week every week, where we celebrate all that is good about emergency medicine and make sure we all stay well. It's really easy, I think, to be cynical about celebrations. Uh, it's really easy to be a bit negative about the world and maybe about emergency medicine, but we've come a really long way in a really short time, and I think I really believe it's absolutely worth celebrating. So if you believe me, and if you can join me in that, I'd be really grateful. Here are some things you need. Because it's 2017, we've got a hashtag, and we've even got an Instagram out because we're really honest. And um, I look forward to all your ideas, good, bad, but never ugly. Thank you very much.